Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. I'm your host, Matt Delaney. Joining me this week, Tracy Harris. Welcome back. Hey. And uh, Tracy Harris and her magical jars, which we'll get to here in a little while. Um, we are live. Today is Sunday, February 22nd, 2009. Um, the Atheist Experience is a television program uh, on public access TV, sponsored by the Atheist Community of Austin. I almost forgot what we were and <laughs> where, you know, what's going on. We are what we are. We are live, in case you couldn't tell by uh, all the mess-ups. Um, we're sponsored by the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization that promotes positive atheism and the separation of church and state. The AACA has weekly meetings every Sunday at Romeo's on Barton Strings Road beginning at around 1130, except for the first Sunday of the month when we host a lecture series at the Austin History Center located at the corner of 9th and Guadalupe, all here in beautiful Austin. Uh, there won't be a lecture uh, for March. Um, and there's more information about that at the website. For more information about the ACA, you can go to the website www.atheist-community.org. There's more information on the group. There's also a frequently asked questions page. There's a contact form. There's uh, information about discussion groups and email lists. Anybody who doesn't get through on the telephone today or doesn't want to, or if you're listening to one of the, the archived versions of this, you can email tv at atheist-community.org. That goes to myself, the co-host, some of the people behind the scenes as well. Um, we will be taking live calls, we always do, uh, primarily from the Austin area, although now we are streaming the show over the internet, so we do get some calls from outside of Austin, and I'm expecting possibly one return call this week. Um, we're not quite sure if that's actually going to happen because there was a birthday and some confusion over times, um, but if it does, it does, and, and if not, we'll, we'll do it another time. The audio portion, portion of this program is available for download and as a podcast. You can go to atheist-experience.com for more information about that, and the video is available currently at Google Video, and the old episodes will remain available there for as long as Google's willing to host them. Um, in the future, there Google plans to stop allowing people to upload videos, in which case, at, at, at which time we will switch to some other uh, service uh, that allows you to watch the entire program. Clips of the show are being posted by fans. So if you if you caught a clip on YouTube um, and it's you know a short clip about an argument or a funny call or an intelligent call, if you if you found that one, let me know. Uh, but um, those are being posted by fans, and they uh, and and in the future we may actually use something like YouTube for that as well. Um, uh, they, they've already posted the announcements on YouTube. I, I was semi-joking when I suggested that they do that, but at least it's given people the opportunity uh, to head over to the website and find out more about the show, email us, catch up on full episodes and things like that. In addition to this show, the ACA also sponsors a bi-weekly internet audio podcast called The Nonprofits. That's P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S. And you go to nonprofitsradio.com for more information about that. We were live yesterday and we were live the week before because we skipped a week. Uh, we'll be on again in two weeks. It's hosted by Dennis LeBay, features myself, Russell Glasser, Schilling, and occasionally Thad England. Um, for those of you who weren't aware, the host co-host situation here is now stabilized, and that is that I'm doing three weeks in a row, and then Russell comes in and hosts for a week, and there are five co-hosts that run through the rotation. And so that way everybody gets a chance to do a show with everybody else. Uh, we'll be taking your calls shortly. We'll put the number up. Um, about the calls, uh, we appreciate, and I'm not going to say, oh, don't call in to tell us, you know, hey, thanks for the show. Um, we appreciate all that, but I think most of the people uh, who would say, gosh, I love the show, um, really <laughs> like hearing the calls that are, you know, at least um, contentious or a discussion or a debate uh, or maybe an argument or maybe just a stupid, why don't we die when the sun goes down? Well, whatever the case may be, if your call is, hey, this weird thing happened to me, uh, and I believe it, and you should too, call. Hey, I believe this, and you're stupid for not believing it, feel free to call. If it's, hey, I like the show, you guys are doing a good job, call if you can, but let's try and keep some lines open. And today the lines are actually short because I'm locking in one line for, for uh, Matt Slick. Um, upcoming events, uh, there's a Godless Pub Crawl, March 6th, that's a Friday, I believe. Yeah, it, I think it is the Friday. Uh, so it's, it's actually a week from this coming Friday. Um, we're putting together some T-shirts and stuff. Uh, Schilling's organizing it. And for those people who'd like to come and participate and would like a T-shirt, um, you need to get an email in so we can kind of get a head count on how many shirts we need to, to get and have ready. Um, I don't have price information and couldn't give it to you if I had it. Um, we're going to, the, 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 all the information about the event should be available on the website, atheist-community.org. Um, in addition to 
those events and the lecture, we have a number of other events on a regular basis. We have solstice parties and things, but each week we have Atheist Happy Hour at the Dog and Duck Pub every Thursday, beginning around 7 o'clock at the corner of 17th and Guadalupe. Um, any atheist or atheist friendly person is welcome to come to any of our events. You don't have to be a member to attend, uh, but if you're coming down to preach, proselytize, or provoke, please don't. Just call in or send an email or whatever you need to do. Um, and by the way, regarding email, we can't possibly answer all the email that comes in. It's just not feasible. And I have done everything I can, including, I mean, all of the co-hosts are involved, and we try uh, to answer as many as, as possible. We do read all of them. Um, I've done everything I can t to answer every email that comes in, and it is, I, I kid you not, it's just not possible. Maybe if the only thing I did all week long was answer emails and get ready for the next week's show, um, it might be possible. Unfortunately, I have a job, because uh, we do all this for free, and that sucks up a good chunk of my life, and I like to sleep, um, and I also, I don't know, occasionally like to play games or uh, other things that are entertaining and lighthearted so that I don't lose my damn mind. Uh, but we do appreciate all the email when we read it, and uh, I, I, I like getting the feedback, but don't get all bothered if you sent something that you were just sure was important and sure was going to get a response and you didn't hear anything. It's possible, A, that it fell through the cracks because there's, there's some stuff that's lost into the, the spam saving abyss, and uh, it's also possible that one person thought somebody else might address it or, or didn't really see it the way you saw it. But keep the emails coming because as before the show, Matt Torres called in um, from out of town. He had gone to uh, a lecture by Frank Turek on uh, why God exists. And he provided some information to us that we talked about on the nonprofit show. He's also blogging about it. If you want to, you can listen to yesterday's episode of the nonprofits and get more information about his blog and the event. Um, and also the, the atheist community of Topeka folks were up there. And there's more information about that. How you doing? Good. Is your brain melted? Is my brain melted? Not yet. Well, it either is or isn't. That's right. It's melted or it is not melted. We'll get to that eventually. Um, okay. Let's. We're going to take one call real quick before Tracy gets started. We've got Nicholas in Singapore. Hey, Matt. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm great. This is. I'm calling from Monday morning, 6 a.m. here. Uh, it's Monday morning for you. It's not for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just so happy to finally be able to talk to you guys. That's I've been weird. watching you on YouTube uh, on past clips. So it's nice to actually watch uh, new shows. All right. Well, I, I, you know, in, in kind of keeping with the new spirit and the fact that we're on limited uh, telephone lines today with a lot to get to, why don't you just go ahead and get to whatever your question is, and we'll see if we can't uh, give you an answer or at least say we don't know. Okay, well, I was, at, I was wondering your opinion on uh, Boethius' The Constellation of Philosophy, where he postulates that God is left happiness. The kind of what? God is happiness? Yeah, basically, not, God is not a creator. God is, is, uh, is the drive or the okay. conscience of all uh, men are striving. Right. Okay, you can, you can, you could make anything you want to uh, and label it God however you want, but th that doesn't mean that you're communicating in any effective way. We already have a word for happiness, and that's um, happiness. happiness. And so, why call happiness God? To me, what this is, and I, I talked about this um, two nonprofits ago um, because Schilling and I had a discussion. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. The, in, in, our purpose is to communicate and communicate effectively. Words themselves have no intrinsic meaning or value. They're labels to concepts that we have. And the only way communication can happen is if we're using labels that we both have a similar or near identical understanding of. 